Okay, um, thanks for joining me today. Uh, as you know, we talk a lot in our industry about technology and how it's changing everything and everybody's talking about data and digital and, and of course, um, uh, fintech. But of course, uh, you know, we don't, we're not sitting on the sidelines here at ANZ, we're doing a lot. We've talked a little bit about some of the investments and partnerships we're building, but we're also just internally using a lot of these tools. And we've talked about data, but today I wanted to talk really about this whole area of AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning. And I've got two of my colleagues here. I've got Sharon, who's our colleague based in Asia, and Jason, who works here in our credit team in the Australia business. And these are two practitioners who've really embraced the potential of machine learning and AI and actually using it day to day. So I thought it'd just be really interesting to hear a little bit about what they're doing with it. So I'm gonna start with Jason. So Jason's our uh, Chief Risk Officer for the Australia uh, Division. Now, uh, Jason, you're not a technologist, you come from risk. When, when, you, when people talk to you about machine learning or artificial intelligence, what does it mean to, to you? And what's your sort of definition of that? Yeah, thanks Shane. So uh, AI is the ability of a machine to perform a, a cognitive function similar to the human mind. So what do we mean by that? Uh, examples are robotic cars, uh, instrument landing systems on a plane, facial recognition, virtual agents, uh, and a concept, so a subset of, of uh, artificial intelligence is what we call machine learning. Uh, so what is machine learning? Machine learning detects uh, patterns uh, in data, then makes uh, predictions and recommendations on how that data could and should be used. The technology today is so much more sophisticated and faster, more capable, et cetera. So, what are some of the more contemporary ways you're thinking about using uh, machine learning in the in the risk team? What's changed? Yeah, that, that's a really good point because uh, some things haven't changed and some some things have. So some of the uh, some of the techniques have been around for twenty or thirty years. You hear these these terms such as neural networks, random forests, gradient boosting models. They aren't new. They've been around for a very long period of time, but because of the complexity of those models. Uh, and, the, and the position where they use in, a, in an ecosystem, we've never had the compute power to be able to run them, say in the constructs of real-time decisioning. If I want to make a decision real-time, uh, the, uh, the older uh, forms of uh, modeling we've used have been the best to deliver a very quick sub-second decision. Some of these, these uh, more complex systems, we've never had the compute power. Now we do, which is the, which is the revolution in, it, in itself. So where we're using it today is in the, in the construct of something like uh, automated home loan approval. Uh, and again, that's really exciting for ANZ because it's especially exciting for me because I've got two you know, very important partners being in, in AR and C, where we've got Emma Gray and, and, uh, and John Campbell looking to automate the home loan process, very document driven, uh, trying to condense that, trying to extract data that they then can send to our decision systems for, for me to make a, make a decision. Of course, when we're talking to Jason, we're talking about, and I think it, people can understand that using these techniques can make our decisioning and processes faster. But do they make them better? You know, there is absolutely no doubt, Shane, that they, whether they make them better or not. What has happened is, and we've all been banking for many years, what has happened is this is a combination of technologies and capabilities. The machine now, the imaging, the transfer of paper to image, the quality and accuracy of imaging, the ability to read, the ability to interpret, and then the ability to process. This has come together for the first time, at least in my career that I'm seeing. And therefore, there is absolutely no doubt. We have seen cases where 50% of the manual effort before has got eliminated in the after picture. We have seen cases where our turnaround times have improved roughly 40 to 50%, depending on which case we talk about. So. I think it's absolutely made things better. It comes with its challenges and caution and management of you know governance and things like that, as with any technology. And sure, just the last comment from you. What's what's exciting in terms of the future, uh, or or potential challenges you're you're seeking to solve? Yeah, you know, as with all technologies, I'm excited that just technically the capabilities are constantly improving. So, you know, you can look forward to how the world is progressing topic just because of you know investments in technology so there is the technical capability uplift which is continuing in our case in the case of institutional business 
it is truly aligned to what customers expect us to do. So it's exciting to continue to keep in this strategic path in the sense of, you know, not, uh, not saying it's done, dusted, and then we move on to some new other toy. So this toy will continue for a long time in my view. Uh, and it's, it's very promising. And I think the last thing I'm excited because it is really good for our staff. You know, there's, there's so much value add from an individual point of view because banking can be notoriously paper intensive, as you know, and take trade as an example, international trade. Uh, and we have cracked international trade to a great extent uh, way, way earlier than many other institutions. And that feels exciting because when you take a big problem to solve and you by and large solved it, then the others seem to be, you know, uh, we tend to be more optimistic. So when I think of all of that, you know, if, if there's a better customer outcome, if our employees have a better experience, if our financial outcome in the form of getting more for less is better, and if we're able to manage our risk better to the extent of the use cases that you actually deploy, then it's a great combination. So all we have to do is keep at it. Right, well, thank you. I'm glad we had the opportunity to talk because I think it's really exciting. I really like the fact that both of you talked about the technology, but actually very quickly, it's about the culture of the firm, about embracing change, about thinking about the risks that come with these new uh, tools and how do we adapt to that? And ultimately always, how do we think about the impact on our customers and our people? So thanks very much, really great. And um, you know, it is an area of exciting. We're all learning new things and um, this is gonna be a great area for the future. Thanks.